In the last few months after Mitt's uh, campaign aide admitted that Mitt was sort of like an etch-a-sketch, I've been thinking about how that relates to GLBT rights, and I would have to say that every time that etch a sketch gets shaken up, Mitt gets worse. My name is Arthur Lipkin. I'm from Cambridge, Massachusetts. I've lived there my whole life. I'm a townie. I think it's important for people who are thinking about who to vote for for president this year not to be fooled by a pleasant exterior and a cheerful demeanor, but to look underneath at what Mitt Romney has tried to do to people like me when he was my governor and since that time. He has done everything to dehumanize me and to take away my rights as a citizen. He opposed my rights to be married with every fiber of his being and did everything in his power, once marriages had begun, to turn back the clock, to bring down the curtain, and to lock the door for any other couples who wanted to experience the same level of joy and mutual commitment that my husband and I had. I was so outraged by Romney's involvement in attempting to um, get a referendum going so that uh, people in Massachusetts could vote on my rights and the rights of the rest of my community for uh, equal marriage opportunity. And I remember coming to a rally at the State House that was pretty much a right-wing gathering and I sensed a launching pad for Mitt's uh, national political ambitions at which he held forth uh, in the most vile way about gay and lesbian people and our lack of rights and therefore our lack of humanity, our second-class citizenship. I never thought that my governor, our governor, would stand on the steps of a festooned statehouse with all of the official paraphernalia, the podium, the flags, and say such hateful, disturbing things it, it really got to me that day at the, on the State House steps. And I raised my voice and I didn't shut up until he stopped speaking because it was just so abhorrent to me that my governor would take this opportunity for what I thought to be his own political ambitions to demean me and to demean my husband and to mean, demean all my gay brothers and sisters. Having seen Mitt Romney in Massachusetts, I thought he was at his worst, but I fear in watching him in his candidacy for president that Mitt gets worse, and I have no hope that he would change his mind and do an etch-a-sketch turnaround and suddenly become a supporter of our rights.